Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. I wanted to go back and do another on the water read. I love this um, backdrop with the lights on it and it's the right way. So I thought I'd do that for you. It just looks really cool like a shimmering lake and it's very restful. So happy, happy day to you guys. Good morning and I hope you're all doing well and I hope you had a good weekend. Now I'm just letting you know this is going to be a timeless read. I felt this right when I got up. I felt inclined to do a read of who and what is coming your way and how it's going to transform your life or your life path, enhance it or whatever it's going to bring about that's going to be meaningful and helpful to you because there's a lot of really great cohesive energy out there. And what that means to me is when we start something, we finish it. Whatever we want to attract that's good and helpful, we can attract that. It just brings cohesion and togetherness in our life instead of all these loose frayed ends. You ever wake up and just feel like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do today. I have to do this and that. And you can set yourself in a panic. Now, what we're going to do right now is take a deep breath and reboot and rethink. Our new patterns are going to be one thing at a time, a beautiful cup of coffee, get clear headed, slow down instead of speeding up, taking that deep breath and assessing, really, we have enough time, everything is going to go our way. I had a lot of teachers and students DM me and leave me messages saying, you know, Melanie, I'm in such a panic about restarting my school schedule and getting up. It's as easy as we make it. Remember, the soul is going to simplify. It's going to be restful and helpful. Listen to that voice. We're not competing. We're not rushing. We're not frantic. We are simply existing in a calm, cool place and we're going with the flow. We're getting and we're getting and also deriving a good time out of setting a routine because then we know what to expect and when we just need to make a few tweaks and we're not going to be panicked about it everything is going to go very smoothly so we're going to have three cards to choose from we have soul journey we have intimacy and we have source so again, just let things, allow things to unfold and become. I'll tell you what I did yesterday. It was one of the best things that I've done in month, in months. There's a deep forest, um, a couple towns over that is so beautiful, this big, huge park, and it is remarkable. There are turtles and frogs and deer and coyotes and really beautiful things. And me and my family walked through it for hours and it was so grounding and all you could hear was crickets and animals and you know toads and ribbits and all this beautiful stuff and it was profoundly gorgeous if you guys want to see some of the pictures i'm going to upload them today there was a family of turtles so you can go to my instagram page which is sparkwist 11 go to a forest go to a park go to an ocean things that are grounding and restful and you'll get um rebalance and i'm going to be using the most remarkable deck today you guys it just came in joie de vivre tarot by paulina cassidy she's happy and whimsical and a lot of you guys ask me questions melanie what would be a good deck to use you with younger people this is ideal it is like happy and hopeful and wistful and amazing so i'm going to be using that so we're going to start with soul journey and i'm going to give these a shuffle and we're going to see what's going on for you okay and again, these are the Joie de Vivre Tarot, which I love. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords. So good information coming your way. Clarity, Two of Cups, long-lasting, stable relationships coming in. Yes, your soulmates, they're arriving. What's happening is your beautiful, beautiful soul is speaking to you. You're listening to it. You're elevating your frequency. You're going up. You're following the synchronicities. You're deriving pleasure from life. You're not just trying to go and struggle and do. You know, you're making real world applications and getting things done, but you're enjoying it. You're present in the moment. And that's very, very important. So Knight of Swords. So firstly, this is really important that you just realize, you know, that there's a lot of opportunities out there for you with abundance, rewards. So you're becoming productive and you're also tapping into that gorgeous creativity. But with the Queen, you have independence. You want to learn. You have authority in what you're doing. So always know that people respect and are listening to what you're saying. You're using rationality as well as intuition, which is very important. I feel like there'll be some serious celebration and joy going around with really this great new partnership. You're going to be able to feel them. You're going to be dreaming them. You're going to be um, positioning yourself so you're caring for yourself. Self-care is so important. And Astasia, this one's for you. You know, we discuss this every once in a while. What happens when we drop self-care, um, we start to ignore some fundamental things that we're in need of. You know, like, um, don't you feel good when you have really clean, glossy hair, your teeth are brushed and 
nice bright and white then you're you know you have lotions and potions my thing my olfactory senses are very strong so i have this stuff it's like a coconut it's called black coconut roll on and it is the best smelling stuff i'm gonna show a photograph it over on instagram because whenever i wear this people legit go mental they're like what is that in fact i gave a couple vials out to people i worked with and they said they'd be working and everybody would be like, where's Melanie? And they'd be like, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, because of the black coconut? No, she gave me one. That's what I mean, how it affects people and they associate it with you. And it's the most like tropical, wonderful, rich smell. I love this thing. I go mental for it. So that type of thing, it's like, you know, I just feel like your attraction factor is going to go through the roof. You're going to be caring for yourself. You're going to feel good. You're, you're going to be ready for adventures too, which I love because Queen of Wands is very passionate about finding out new things and, you know, finding finding new ways of prosperity, a lot of affluence comes your way. It's like just taking pleasure in soaring over the garden that is each day that we can get all these ripe fruits and vegetables from, right? We learn new things, we learn things from people while maintaining our independence and doing what we want to do, right? We're not someone's chauffeur, we're not somebody's ATM, we're doing what we want. And that, that's beautiful stride. So you have people coming, you have opportunities, you have love, you have amazing things coming your way. I'm going to pull a gorgeous overarching energy for you which is change yeah change for the better rich 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 undertakings where you're wholeheartedly focused on them so everything is feeling good it's feeling brighter it's feeling brighter it's feeling the possibilities are there you're using that great dialogue that's saying of course you're enough of course you're valuable people love having you around your ideas are amazing all of those things keep reminding yourself so you can move in that direction beautiful energy group one love and light to you if you're new to my channel welcome i'm melanie williams and this is indigo terra odyssey thank you don't forget to press like and subscribe all my links are down below for my handcrafted jewelry i make all kinds of crystal and gem things and i want to thank everybody that is showing me their patronage i adore you guys i love creating pieces for you this is really wonderful let me know what you think of this deck because i find it so so sweet i love it and i want to get one for each of my kids too because i just really really like it i feel like it's festive it's you know it's in the realm it's kind of like jim hensony brian froud it's like a bunch of my favorite mixtures of artists so very beautiful again if you need a private read anything all my links are down below goddess provisions box everything if you want to become a patron and help support my channel thank you to all my patrons you guys are amazing and my new influx of you guys so helpful i'm able to afford these cool cards whoa group two ace of cups you have a brand new spanking amazing divinely guided love coming in and you also have good fortune i feel like you're you're being kissed by the goddess of luck saying whatever undertaking you're thinking creative or otherwise please do it the the world is pouring out it's love uh, it's help look at all the little birds they're bringing you hearts you're going to feel the love you're going to feel the love of your family you're going to feel the love of your co-workers you're really going to feel that there is a sense of connectivity nobody is isolated this is really beautiful you feel like your heart is full and you're going to be very generous as well because of that and people are going to be very grateful for that whoa king of wands yeah, you have this king of wands is very passionate male and or female energy coming towards you that, you know, it's going to make an offer of love. They have been some of this. These people have been observing you and you've had that feeling of, well, you know, should I say something? Should I make a move? I don't know. Is it imagined? It's not. If some of you are thinking that there is someone out there that's been observing you or whatever social media in, in real life, in school, they're going to come and they're going to make a love offer. And it's very, very sweet. It, Aces, it's genuine. It's new. A lot of you are just going to have new people that you run into at school and work. And it's going to be like, bam, fireworks. It's amazing. Yeah, see, two of wands is beautiful. Looking out over the future and planning and wands. Passion, passion, passion fire i love that it's like something's just ignited there's a light in you that's really shining um and you're gonna feel it it's like a internal revolution of do this don't you dare hide go out and shine your light you've got this you have great great um honing in skills of your perspective great higher perspective um you can tell you know who's who's um, permeating things you don't want to deal with arrogance um anything like that great beautiful balance you're being able to blend your innovation with your creativity and produce some amazing things and i feel like a lot of that stuff is going to garner a really big audience as well you're also going to be very easily um persuasive for other people so be careful because you're going to be able to um 
you're like, it's almost like emotional contagion, whatever you're saying and doing, other people are going to want to follow you and your family, friends and otherwise. So try to keep your energy up, um, drop any criticism or negativity because it's highly contagious at this point, because you're a leader, people are following you and you're also attracting what you're putting out to a huge degree. Your manifestation is huge. So everything positive that you want, start writing it down. You're going to have a lot of choice. And I feel like you're just going to be exquisitely prepared for what comes your way. You're just going to have the right words. You're going to have the, whatever you need, it's going to be weird. Like you're going to pull up to a meter and be like, Oh, I wish I had changed. You're going to see a quarter on your floor. All these lucky little things. You're going to see butterflies everywhere. Monarch butterflies are going to be huge for you. Dragonflies, all these winged creatures. I feel like you have a lot of angelic, um, energy around you, you know, a little beautiful, like, um, guides just prodding you and whispering to you and you listening to this intuition and bringing this beauty and love your way. So gorgeous, unbelievable energy. We're going to pull one overarching theme tree of life. You're going to be growing, producing, you're going to feel abundant. And um, this is also saying, you know, get out into nature. You are really, you're like a sonic boom for other people. So you're going to need your fuel set, which is going to be sunlight, nature, trees. We're all connected while well, part of a collective. And when we're giving, loving, sharing, growing and bonding, it, it helps everyone. Everybody is a branch from this tree, but you're a huge source of help for other people right now. So just know this. I mean, you give a lot of light, you give off a lot of healing energy. So get out there and provide that for people because it's going to come back to you in huge ways. Beautiful, beautiful. And let me know if you like these cards. I love them so much. I feel like they're so filled with whimsy. They're gorgeous, right? If you're new, my name's Melanie. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Um, and thank you guys for your awesome feedback. The numbers are going crazy. I am so pleased you guys love the content. Um, I've been, you know, following your lead and what you like. So I'm very stoked about that. And I have a bunch of links below if you've never done this before that leads you, you know to my private reads to Instant Go, which is a great um, service I provide a one question answer over on that. And it's really cool. You get the pictures of the cards and then I let you know, you know, what they're saying. And I do all kinds of work. Just email if you ever have an inquiry on anything and I will let you know beautiful yeah intimacy you have a lot of love a lot of connectivity fresh fresh vibrant energy coming your way gorgeous now we're talking about source I'm loving this. I feel like if you chose this right away, you guys are going to be receiving very dynamic, helpful messages that are going to guide you to a calmer, cooler headspace. You're not you're no longer going to be participating in anything that has anxiety or fear. You're just realizing I'm the conductor of my life. Why would I steer my train into fog and rain when I can come out in the blistering blue skies of Switzerland if I want, you know? It's an envisionment process. You are now navigating yourself in the right direction. What do you really want? You're able to pinpoint it. See, new. The last group got an ace too. This is amazing. Last group had the ace of cups. You have the ace of wands. You're, you have a new um, passion that is just riled within you that's coming in the next couple of weeks where you're just like, you know what? Forget this. Why the hell am I hiding? Why am I all smokes and shadows about things? I want to come out in the bright sunlight, attempt this. The worst that can ever happen is I have to start again. I have more follow through, do, you know, do some tweaks and things, but everybody's so involved in their own life. They're really not busy sitting around criticizing you. And that's where anxiety and perfectionism comes in. We think people are, are like hyper watching us and hyper aware of what we're doing. They're not, they're not. They just see, um, the overall thing. So when people see you trying, that is enough. When people see you putting an effort and focus, that is enough. They're going to want to see the end result. They're going to want to see what you're doing. They are actually cheering for you. People that you think aren't in your wheelhouse really are. They're trying to help you look at this, the world. This is you knowing that other people are actually going to be participating and elevating you and helping you. They're watching you. They love you. They care about you. This is people not only on social media, your friend, your family, your classmates, all of that. They're cheering for you. People sometimes secret away their affection and they don't show it over overtly because they don't want to seem like a crazy, um, you know, fan or whatever, especially friends, you know, it's, but it's always it ticking away in that heart. I hope he does well. I hope, I hope they succeed. I hope she gets what she wants. And this collective energy is lifting you and elevating you. And your, your vibrancy is like tangible. And people are like, who is that? You know what I mean? Three of cups. Yeah. Beautiful balance, community, um, spirit in there. You know, I feel like there's a purification taking place in your thought process where when anything negative comes in, like a little alarm bell goes off, switch it off. You're going to move a muscle change, you know, move a muscle, change your thought and get back on that corrective path. that says you are so much more than enough. You are so awesome. You are a shining star. You've got this. You are, you're, you're the purveyor of the land in front of you. So please 
get off that barren landscape that used to come out of your subconscious and fill it with flowers and love and luck and money and all the things that you deserve because you're super deserving and this is an abundant time for you like nobody's business here please the world and the ace of wands and the three of cups you're going to be super high point for you is your communication you're going to be those words you need are going to come right to your tongue right when you need them you're going to be able to be uplifting to others beautiful i also feel that some of you there was a truth that needed to come out that um that somehow there was not a level playing field in some of you and i feel like some people are being sneaky that truth is coming out at work in school whatever people are going to see exactly what's going on it's going to come out to your benefit you're going to come out on top and it's really beautiful you're going everyone's going to see through this illusion it's going to be wonderful also you have a lot of compassion energy circulating around you where you're thinking of others instead of want to be combative and fight them if they're being obnoxious silly or harsh you're going to say wow you know what i need to have some empathy for this person because hurt people want to hurt people that feel lack are going to want to take away from others so they're in a bad place that's all you're going to be loving and insightful and it's going to bring you a lot of friends a lot of kudos a lot of good karma that's amazing i'm going to tell you this quick story that amazed me yesterday that ian told me there was this family of two girls they each had a different mother and father the mother and father died in their house of hypothermia because something happened with their heating now um the, the will was contested all the money was left I guess to one girl that's that's what they thought but in this particular case what happens is they're, they're they're thinking of dividing it but one girl wants it all and sues the other one the one that doesn't really care and says I want to split in the end this girl got every last cent plus $375,000 where the bills paid by the greedy sister because the judge was so tired of the other girl pushing that he found an old law that said whoever is the oldest which whoever was the older parent Parent, that's the one they're going to claim died first because what would happen is if one died they'd leave the money to the other spouse who would then leave it to their child you see where it's going so the guy realized that the the judge realized that um the that whoever was the oldest which was the was um the father would died first would have left it to the mother who then would have left it to her daughter so he ruled in favor of that this 125 year old law that said whoever was the oldest probably potentially would have died first so the daughter who wasn't greedy everything went in her favor this is what we're talking about karma and compassion when we're not greedy when we're not ridiculous when we're not trying to get everything and just get 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 and there isn't greed involved but there's love compassion truth um new fresh trying um, loving energy we come out on top we just do it comes back around it's so beautiful this happens to me every day when I put in the effort and I I'm like I want to make a beautiful video I want it to have color light fun insightfulness um, beauty I want it to raise your energy and then I get your comments back that it actually does that you guys sit down with a cup of coffee it's your breakfast blend it brings you up it sets you up for the day that makes my day when I read that comment I'm on a euphoric high all day because that really is my purpose I know that as a light worker I know that energy and words are contagious I will never project any negativity because wh what the hell is that even about why do people do that if you're going through something work that out don't bl don't thrust that onto other people bring others light and joy and it's like if there's this beautiful pattern coming for you in this this way that is you know you haven't lived on such a beautiful high in a long time and i'm so excited for you i'm almost like choking up about it so wow if you're new to this channel welcome my name's melanie thank you for tuning in today i'm very excited check out some of my other videos they're going gangbusters i can tell you guys how much i appreciate that thank you yeah my numbers were at the highest they ever were like for watches i was like wow it's just like amazing i'm really excited and again remember that we're all conduits for help love and light for one another so let's do this and all my links are down below if you want to check out any of my goodies that are down there i have a whole plethora there's a labyrinth of like private reads instago my etsy store tons and tons of goodies patreon everything i can't tell you guys how proud of how proud of you are because this just doesn't just drop out this is because the essence of who you are and now it's your deserving face so you're going to get all this beautiful camaraderie love excellent thinking clarity it's like you're um in sync with your best self and that is the best so i'm going to go upload because i'm totally excited remember again this is timeless i always feel whenever you watch any video it is proactive from that moment that you see it so love and light